Welcome to Train Signal Citrix ZenApp 6 training. You're watching the Getting Started with Citrix ZenApp 6 training lesson. Well, this is going to be the first of many Welcome to Train Signal ZenApp 6 lessons that we're going to go through during this course. But before we get started, I wanted to give you a modest overview of your V instructor so that you know, well, who is this person that's going to be talking to me? for 27 lessons and why should I listen to them and what are the qualifications that they bring to the table that would make me want to listen to them. So I'm a huge believer in certifications and I hold a number of certifications myself. I've started with the MCSC NT40 2000 Citrix Certified Administrator on Metaframe 1.8 on XP on PS4 on ZenApp etc. Citrix Certified Administrator on Zen Desktop, Citrix Certified Enterprise Administrator, VMware VCP 2.5, 3.0, 4 3.5, CCNA, and others. I have some Hitachi, some Brocade, etc. So I'm a huge believer in certifications. I'm also a consultant and CTO for Artemis Technology. We're based in Chicago. And I've deployed, when I was an engineer and an architect, some of the largest Citrix and VMware infrastructure deployments in the world. One of the largest Citrix ZenApp deployments that I've done was for a hospital with about 14,000 users. We did another one for an insurance company with about 6,000 users. So I've dealt with a lot of environments. I've been doing this for the last 15 years. So I've had my fair share of uh, Citrix ZenApp and uh, troubleshooting and configuring, printing and all sorts of good stuff that I'm hoping I pass along to you in this course. An extended bio, I love technical training. I've been doing technical training for years. I've written technical books. I've authored some, a lot of CBTs. Actually, the very first Citrix CBT was developed by me for a different company at the time. This was a very long time ago. I believe in somewhere in the area of 2002 or 2003, I don't remember. But that was the first Citrix CBT that was out there. That was around Citrix Metaframe XP. So I've been doing this for a very, very long time, and I have several books and computer-based training and articles and white papers uh, to my name. I'm a huge believer in the fact that we need to virtualize everything. There shouldn't be anything in this day and age that we can't virtualize, with the exception of you know some applications here and there that require physical machines, and hopefully that'll go away soon. But for the most part, I'm a huge, very big believer of virtualization. I'm also a VMware V-Expert. This is an award that VMware gives to about 300 people worldwide every year based on their contributions to the community, the virtualization community. You can reach me always at Elias at EliasKinacer.com. My Twitter handle is at EKinacer. My LinkedIn is also up there for you. I'd love to hear from you. Please drop me a note and tell me what you think of the course and if you have any questions. The books. <laughs> Here is a sample of some of the books that I've written. Um, these are all available. Some of them uh, are getting a little old, but you can you can see how long I've been doing this. You know, the Citrix MetaFrame XP was one of the first books that I wrote. This started out. It's funny. It started off, but hey, you want to write a chapter in a book? I'm like, sure. I've never written before, but sure. And it ended up being I wrote six chapters in that particular book. So I ended up writing half the book and then it just took off from there. And I have a book on MCSC security, the Citrix CCA, 2VCP, the 3 and 3.5 and M4O 4 exam crams as well. I am a frequent blogger. I blog for Forbes, Information Week and VirtualizationReview.com. So please check us out on all three of those um, publications. I always have something going on. I'm always writing about something, so please drop us a note and uh, tell me what you think of the blogs, comment, interact, reach out. My other train signal courses, I've also developed um, Citrix Zen Desktop 4 and Citrix Zen Desktop 5 for train signal. So if you're interested in VDI and desktop virtualization, I also invite you to explore and take a look at uh, these courses. Eh, there will there'll be some uh, some surprises coming your way, so follow Train Signal, especially on Twitter and Facebook, to stay tuned with what we're about to release. Now, stand before walking and walk before running. The idea behind the training course, it's, it's designed to begin with the foundation that you already have in place and then just add on top of that foundation and eventually get you to a point where you are a Zen master. I want to create... 
to put it lightly and not to create you know a, a different illusion in your head, I want to create a monster out of you when it comes to Citrix products. When it comes to Zen App, I want to make sure you are the subject matter expert. But the foundation is also important. So you can't jump in and start doing Zen App if you haven't covered some of the bases. So I can only make you a Zen master if you have that foundation. So one of the important things that you need to know is you have to have a solid understanding of enterprise networking, TCP, IP, DHCP, DNS, just to mention a few. But you need to have a very solid understanding and knowledge of that. Advanced Server 2008, I need you to understand very, very well Active Directory, the administration tools, group policy objects, etc. It's very important. Everything we're going to do with ZenApp is going to be building on top of Active Directory and some Advanced Server 2008 stuff. So make sure you're familiar with domains and users and, and so on and so forth. Now, run before flying. We build upon the foundation slowly until you are ready to administer a ZenApp environment. I'm not going to just dump everything on you. This course is made up of about 27 lessons, and each lesson is going to get you that much closer to becoming a true Zen master on ZenApp 6. So make sure you follow us along. We're going to take care of you. All right, so the course building blocks. What is this course going to consist of? And I've tried to break it out um, in about seven sections just to give you an idea of what the course is going to look like. So you have the getting started with Citrix Zen F6. That's a, a series of lessons. You have you know, section two is going to deal with installation and configuration of Zen App. Now, section three is going to be around Zen App administration. Section four is going to be about the Citrix receiver and five about profile management. Six is going to be troubleshooting and best practices. Seven is going to be around the conclusion, etc., etc. So you can see how the different videos will sort of you know, fit together under different main sections, uh, sort of speaks, or master categories. So the why and how of this course. Why is this course in the order that we have it? So I've developed the course in a logical way. I wanted to take you through how it's constructed in a logical way, not necessarily how it's constructed the way it Citrix wants it to be. Because there are certain things that when I look at the outline, I'm like, well, this doesn't necessarily fit very well here. If I start with this and I come up to this lesson, then it's not going to flow very naturally. I wanted to construct the course in a way where it flows very easily, where I'm not losing you during the instructions. I wanted you, I wanted to build upon, I want each lesson to build upon one another and be connected so that you, you have an idea of, of completion and why certain things are being done the same or in a certain way. And for that reason, don't jump around while you're watching my videos. The videos were constructed in a way where each lesson is going to build upon one another. Now the only time I'll say sure go ahead and jump around is once you finish the series once you've gone from 1 to 27 and you have this good understanding of the course you have the solid understanding and you're just trying to review then by all means go ahead and jump around but this is your first take at it then don't do that go through the course from start to finish go through each lesson and try to follow along with the logic that I've put in there of why these lessons are in the consecutive order that they're in now keep in mind, these lessons can also not, you know, if you're taking the CCA exam, they don't necessarily correlate to the prep guide exactly how it comes into prep guide, but we are covering everything in the prep guide and more in this course as well. So I just answered this question, but I'll reiterate. So the skills that are taught in this course do correlate to the exam objectives. Absolutely. However, again, I want to stress this, they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily in order, they're not following the exam blueprint in order just because we're trying to configure it in such a way where it makes logical sense, it helps learning, it increases your ability to absorb the content rather than just following an outline by, by someone that put it together um, at Citrix. Now, the one thing that I want to, uh, to make very clear is don't skip the lab setup course or the course scenario. These two in particular, especially lab setup, will help you prepare, will help you configure your setup, your lab setup that you're going to use to follow along with us. It'll tell you what you need from a hardware and software perspective. The course scenario will tell you, well, what you're up against, what are we trying to accomplish. 
all of these lessons are there for a reason. They're there to create the sense of involvement between you and I, between the course and you, so that you're not just watching this course as an outsider, but you're actually involved in everything that we're doing, and everything that we're doing is happening for a reason. So I want to encourage you of taking these lessons one at a time and in consecutive order. My closing advice and encouragement. Make this training enjoyable. I found that when you're watching training, if you like what you're seeing, if you're enjoying it, if you're actually configuring this, the lab setup and you're trying to make things work and maybe something is working for me but it's not necessarily working in your environment and you take the time to figure out, well, what did you do wrong? What did you miss? Maybe something in the configuration that you did, you missed a step. This is where you're going to learn the most and this is where you're going to enjoy what you're doing more than, than anything in the world. So I definitely advise you to make this very enjoyable. Don't, don't be strict. Don't make it very serious. Take your time. Take in the material very easily and absorb it as much as you can. Try not to be frustrated. Absolutely don't do what I do. You know, Don't try to strike the monitor or break the monitor if things aren't working. Take a deep breath. Go out, get a cup of coffee. Have a pop. Whatever it is that you need to do, come back a few minutes later. You'd be amazed how many times I've walked away from an issue that was simple. But I spent hours on it trying to figure it out. And it was just right there and I couldn't see it. You take a break, you come back with a fresh mind, big smile on your face, and voila, you're going to figure it out in an instant. So I definitely recommend when you get frustrated, walk away. Go play a video game, watch a, a small movie, watch the news, whatever you need to do. Come back and take a look at it again, and you'll be amazed at how clear it'll, it'll be. Do everything you can to join the community. Citrix community is very active, very vibrant. Look for the Pound Citrix, Pound Zenap, uh, Twitter tags, follow the Citrix blogs. And attend Citrix user groups in your community if possible. Now, learning Zen app makes you part of a special group of elites. Best of the best. Train signal will make you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a Top Gun phrase, but I love the movie and, you know, it, uh, it fit very well here. So I wanted to personally welcome you. I want to make sure that you're going to enjoy this course as much as I've enjoyed recording it for you. And let's go ahead and start by learning, building, and configuring Citrix Zenap 6.